For me, playing on PC is the most convenient way of playing my favorite games. There's the extensive library of games with some exclusives from both PlayStation and Xbox consoles, the unlocked resolution and frame rate capabilities, the option of using mods for your favorite games, the ease of torrent downloading that I most definitely use for legal and non-malicious purposes in case my ISP is watching this video. I love everything about gaming on PC and the fact that more and more people are starting to see how cool it is as time goes on makes me excited for the future of computer gaming. But today, I was looking at my old PlayStation games collection and was just admiring all the games that I hadn't touched in years. This era of gaming on PlayStation 3 was really special to my childhood and seeing all these classic box arts was a fun trip down memory lane that made me think about all the good times. Like that last chase mission on Assassin's Creed 3 that literally made me cry because of how difficult it was. But it also got me thinking about my current arc of gaming on PC. You see, all of these games I play now are just digital downloads that I got through, you know, digital stores. So hypothetically, in the future, I wouldn't be able to have this same kind of moment I had with my old PlayStation games with the games that I play now, unless I'm looking at a cover art through a monitor, which isn't even comparable to something physical that I can hold. But the thing is, there was a time where PC games got physical releases alongside all the other consoles and you were able to have real life memorabilia of the games that you played. However, that stopped around 10 years ago now and while there may be one obvious answer as to why that happened, you know, just based on how PCs are made, there's still more to the reasoning to this change in PC games distribution that many people don't know about. And today, I want to explore those reasons with you all in an attempt to leave you with a better understanding as to why PC games aren't getting physical releases anymore. So let's start with that obvious answer to the end of PC physical releases that doesn't take rocket science to figure out. And I'd even argue it was likely the main factor that all the other reasons I'll mention later in this video came to be. And that fact is that PCs just don't have an optical drive anymore. For the last 8 or 9 years, outside of school or, you know, laptops, you probably haven't seen a PC build from anyone that has an optical drive. Because of the rise of streaming and being able to outright download whatever you need on a PC, the need to add that big ass DVD ROM player to your build would just be a waste of money and space. Imagine trying to fit that thing in with an RTX 4090, that shit is bigger than I am. And while I like having CDs for my games, even when they were being made for PC, most of the time, the only thing that they'd have on them was the install setup for the game, so you wouldn't even need a disc again after the install was over. So that waste is another factor that ties in with the collapse of physical copies, specifically in the production costs. You see, making a game and burning it onto a mass amount of CDs eats into a lot of profit. And I'm not trying to sound like a capitalist captain or some sort of professional businessman, but for a system that mostly just installs the game from CDs, I could see why a lot of game companies started moving to just skipping the middleman and releasing their games on digital platforms in the mid to late 2000s, especially for a platform that was the size of PC gaming at the time. Now don't get me wrong, during this time there were millions that were loyal and played their games on Linux, Vista, XP, and you know early Windows 7. I'm gonna pretend that the iMac didn't exist for obvious reasons. But comparing those to the number of console players in the mid 2000s just wasn't even close. So because of that, PC games would take a much bigger loss from profit, making mistakes like printing CDs for games that didn't sell well. But even at this point in the timeline, we still had games being made for PC with the CDs. It was also at this time when games started getting more advanced with new technology never seen before, like the brand new game engines. And with that came game sizes that were on par with full capacity Blu-ray discs. But the thing is, we still had CDs with limited size capacity, so this caused a brief period of multiple disc releases. Now we already went over how CDs ate into game profits, so you could only imagine by this point that it was only a matter of time before games were eradicated from physical releases. Like the original Grand Theft Auto 5 PC release in 2015 came with 7 discs just to install the game. Not one, not two, but lucky number 7 disc that you're never going to need again after the install. 
But after that, it brings us to the early to mid 2010s where the games for PC pretty much all made their transition to digital platforms. Some games that made their debut on PC like The Sims franchise still does make physical boxes for their new games, but the only thing inside them are just serial numbers for a download, so the age of computer games with CDs are pretty much over. Now, apparently, there's still some games out there that'll either do the same thing like The Sims and make box art for PC games, or even have a CD release. But I think these are only exclusive to like collector's edition versions of games because only hardcore fans are gonna want to own that. At least that's what they think. I already told y'all how I feel about the games that I play. If there was a physical copy of them, I'd own it. But in short, that's pretty much the history of physical PC games up to this point. While I wish we would at least still get box art, at the end of the day, I understand why things are the way they are. It would just be nice to have a physical way to appreciate your favorite PC titles. So what do you guys think about PC releases, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, leave a like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested, and I'll see y'all.